The Flight 3 destroyers, in development now for many years, are engineered to ensure the U.S. Navy fleet stays in front of the competition as the world threat equation evolves and China continues to quickly build a new fleet of high-tech Type 055 semi-stealthy destroyers. The Navy recently laid the keel for the future USS Jeremiah Denton DDG-129 the latest Flight 3 Arleigh Burke destroyer to surge into a new phase of production. While the Navy is currently experimenting with concepts for its next-generation DDG-X destroyer, the Flight 3 destroyers are intended to sail for decades into the future, given the sophistication of the weapons and technology now being built into the ships. In fact, early conceptual thinking regarding the new DDGX is that its technological systems, weapons and radar will likely be based upon those now integrating into the Flight 3, a plan which offers a window into Navy thinking regarding how sophisticated Flight 3 technologies are. The cornerstone or foundation of the Flight 3 upgrade is the addition of a paradigm-changing and slash SPY-6 V-1 air and missile defense radar system. This radar is reported by Navy and Raytheon developers to be 30 times more sensitive than its predecessor and help ship commanders detect enemy objects and threats half the size and twice the distance as previous radars can. This is quite a leap forward, given that the ranges of enemy weapons and sensors coupled with multi-domain connectivity and networking, have dramatically increased the threat equation for surface warships. The SPY-6 family moves beyond existing and slash SPY-1 ship-integrated radar systems and, according to an interesting essay in Microwave Journal, handles 30 times more targets and has 30 times greater sensitivity than the SPY-1D, V. Radar and Phased Array Breakthroughs, Eli Booker Raytheon SPY-6 radar transmitter uses a material known as military-grade gallium nitride GON, a substance explained by Raytheon developers as up to 1,000 times more efficient than the existing gallium arsenide used today. When it comes to application, the SPY-6 radar systems streamline otherwise disparate fire control and detection technologies, the SPY-6 can queue short-range, closer in interceptors as well as longer-range ballistic missile interceptors such as an SM-3. This shortens sensor-to-shooter time and offers war commanders a longer window with which to make decisions about which countermeasure is needed. This integration is precisely the kind of defense needed to counter a multi-pronged, coordinated enemy attack potentially combining ballistic missiles with cruise missiles, drone attacks, and more. With SPY-1, as it's called, commanders can see threats from much safer standoff distances and operate with a larger time window with which to respond and decide upon a defensive measure or counterattack. The in slash spy 6 radar is also integrated into the Navy's Aegis Combat System, an integrated suite of technologies combining air and cruise missile defense with ballistic missile defense, onboard computing and fire control systems. With more precise threat data arriving at a faster pace from greater distances with greater fidelity, Aegis can incorporate and analyze new streams of precise threat track data with sufficient time to develop a counterattack plan and determine fire control coordinates. The DDG-51 Flight 3 upgrade is centered on the in slash spy 6 one air and missile defense radar and incorporates upgrades to the electrical power and cooling capacity plus additional associated changes to provide greatly enhanced warfighting capability to the fleet. Flight 3 is the latest flight upgrade in the more than 30-year history of the class, building on the proud legacy of Flight 1, 2 and IIA ships before it. A Navy statement also said that HII Zingle shipbuilding is also in production on the future USS Lena Sutcliffe Higby, DDG-123, the future USS Jack H. Lucas, DDG-125, the future USS Ted Stevens, DDG-128, and the future USS George M. Neal, DDG-131.